Hello and welcome to another Pick a Card reading. The theme of this Pick a Card reading is Am I on his or her mind? There are three piles. Pile number one, skull bracelet. Pile number two, eyeshadow applicator. Pile number three, crystal. You chose the first pile. Here's your reading. Gypsy Witch Tarot, Essential Tarot, Legend Arthurian Tarot, and Cat Black's Golden Tarot. Yes, you are on this person's mind. Eight of Pentacles. Since that comes up first with the Hermit, I would say this person you're thinking of, who is also thinking of you, probably has a lot of Earth in his or her chart. I'm seeing Capricorn and Virgo. Could be Capricorn Sun, Virgo Moon, vice versa, but there's definitely a lot of Earth to this person's chart. This person is probably not terribly social, not an extrovert. This, pro this person probably keeps to his or herself and it looks like they're a pretty hard worker. Definitely an introvert, definitely spiritual. Four of Shields, King Mark, that's Four of Pentacles. Um, this person's probably pretty frugal and conservative with their money. King of Cups, and this person could be obsessed with you, but you won't know it. This person keeps his or her cards to their chest, so to speak, close to their chest. So this is not someone who's going to go crazy showing all their colors when they're in love with someone. They're going to be very cautious and very controlled. They will not readily reveal their feelings, but their feelings run pretty deep. Um, let's see. I'll pull another card from Legend Arthurian Tarot for further clarification. This person's thoughts, what are they about specifically? Are they more sexual in nature? Are they more romantic? Give me a card to show what this person is thinking when they think of the querent. Give me more specificity. This is the card. Four of Swords, Azote of the White Hands. Hmm. That's not really what I'm looking for. That's not specific enough. Let me see. Let me see what the legend says about Four of Swords. But I don't think it's going to have what I'm looking for. Hmm, 
no, that isn't going to be what I'm looking for. It says um, recuperation, retreating to a calm, safe environment, protection and warm hospitality, regaining strength and direction. That would only make sense if you had wounded this person. If you had broken this person's heart, well, then they could be thinking about that, how you broke their heart. But let me get further clarification on this. What I'm asking is, what are these persons, what are this person's thoughts regarding the querent? There we go. Ten of Cups, Corbenic. This person is thinking about having a happy home with you. Happily ever after, the castle. Domestic bliss. And just to be fair, I'll go ahead and consult one more deck for further clarification on this. Um... I'll go to the golden, okay? The person for pile number one, the romantic interest, the karmic, the soulmate, the divine counterpart. When the person of interest is thinking of the querent, what are the thoughts of specifically? What are the thoughts about? Six of Swords, your person is thinking about coming to you swiftly. So you got the Ten of Cups, and from another deck you got Six of Swords. I would say yes, this person wants to come to you and initiate something. Okay. So not too shabby, pile number one. And if you chose pile number two, the eyeshadow applicator, here is your reading, Gypsy Witch, Essential Tarot, Legend Arthurian Tarot, and Cat Black's Golden Tarot. We are going to happen. Relax. Of course, I customized that. Okay. Temperance. Five of Swords, Gowan's Penance, and Page of Cups. So I'm going to channel. I'm going to call on my intuition for this. <clears throat> Looks like the person that you're interested in is a water sign. I'm seeing Pisces. That's just what I'm picking up. A Pisces who wants to communicate with you. And if they could give you a word through me, this is it. I want to be with you. I want to work on this. But you're going to have to trust me. You're going to have to trust the timing. You're going to have to be patient. It's not going to be overnight. It's not going to be instant gratification. You know as well as I do, there's stuff we have to work through, stuff we have to work out. It's not an ideal time, but it never is. But I feel you, and I desire you, and we are going to happen. Okay. Um... I'm going to draw a clarifying card from Gypsy Witch. 
I'm using one hand because I'm holding my phone with my right hand, so I'll cut and I'll transfer cards until I feel that it's the correct card, until the card calls out to me. That's it. That's it. Eight of Cups. Mm hmm. Okay, keep talking through me. Divine counterpart, romantic interest. Talk through me. The path is rocky and it's steep. Even though the moon is full, it's a dark path. It's not lit by the sun. It's not smooth. It's not a paved path. It's not a path in a park where there are children. It's a treacherous path. But I'm on it because I want this union. I want this relationship. I'm willing to take the risk. I'm willing to go through these tough times. It requires faith, and I have that. The love is the most real thing. The love that we both feel is the thing to focus on. Okay, so that's pile number two. And if you chose pile number three, the crystal, here is your reading. We have Gypsy Witch, Essential Tarot, Legend Arthurian Tarot, Ace of Wands. This person is thinking of you. All three of these piles have been positive, so that's awesome. I don't know if it's the full moon in Cancer opposing the sun in Capricorn. This is a very faded time. Um, divine unions are forming. I feel like ascension is being accelerated at this time. Whenever I see a jack, I always read it as a knight. That's just my thing. So I see this as knight of wands. This person has a lot of fire. I'm seeing Aries. Okay. This person wants to hold on to whatever material stuff they have. They have some abundance. They have some prosperity. They want to hold on to it. But they also want to risk their heart. And so they are thinking long and hard on this union. They're assessing the risk. There's a distance. There's a path. Percival is focused on the castle, the double rainbows, the reward that waits in the castle. This castle represents the divine union. And he can't get to it soon enough. Ace of Wands, yes intense, tremendous desire, inspiration. You inspire this person. You're inspiring this person to leave the material stuff, the material concerns behind and go on the fool's quest, the fool's errand, following his 
or her heart to this great reward. I will pull <clears throat> another card for clarification. I feel led to pull from the Arthurian Tarot. So again, I'm using one hand because I'm holding up the phone with my right hand. I will cut, I will transfer until a card calls out to me. Right here it is. Eight of Spears, the White Heart, Eight of Wands. Yeah, movement. Inspiration. Intense energy. We have all this fire energy here. Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, and then the Knight of Wands. This is movement. Inspired, fiery, passionate energy. So I will channel. I'll see if this person you're thinking of will talk through me. And again, this is a general reading. All of my pick a card readings are general. But if something resonates, that could be synchronicity. So this is a collective energy. I'm calling on it. I'm calling for a word for this particular spread. Is there a message that you want to deliver to the querent? I can't wait for us to happen. I love you so much. I can't adequately express it right now. I will express it with my inspired actions. I will express it when you are in my arms. Beautiful. So that concludes this pick a card reading. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Muchas gracias.